I'm ready. <laughs> Not like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 seriously, though. You're going to be casting a fly out here when it's on the ground. Well, I was doing fine. Don't whip it. Yeah. Whip it. Can we do it? Is that one the one that you made? No, I don't made that one. I made some of them like it. And what's that called? It's called a forward pass. Modify side on. One stroke right there is 60 feet. How long is the yellow to the green? It's probably 15 foot. Because I can get a little bit past the green. Uh, the yellow is kind of, and the green is kind of like an indication where you can pick up motion line out of the wood. You go traditional overhand cast like that, but you've got trees and stuff. If the wind's blowing, you want to do a modified side on the cast up to the wind like this right here. Right. Keep it lying down until that's to the water. You don't have to do a lot of false casting. Uh, so there's like 20, 30 foot. You pick it up. Do a single haul, load your rod, one cast. Shoot twice the line out. Actually, casting sitting down is probably... Uh, a little bit more better technique of learning because it helps keep your wrist control to keep right. your rod up. Most people want to drop the rod down like this. Don't want to do that. See, a lot of times... It's like you, sloppy, you get in your lines like a spaghetti noodle. A lot of times what I, I forget, too, is when you're going to throw... Stop your rod right there. The rod loads out, and then shoot the line out. So you're letting your hand off the line when you go forward? Um, where most people, when they cast a fly rod, like me... I hang on to the rod. I hang on to the line. I don't let it go or even let no, it slide. I, I let mine slide through my fingers. Yeah, but I'm saying I don't let it slide through my fingers either. Well, that's how you work your line This is to get your right. line going in and out. Do that so I can get your hand in there. <laughs> Grant, this is a seven weight. <laughs> Down to the backing almost, you got what? About 80 yards out? Mm, I don't know, probably good 60, 70 feet. Most people mess up trying to do this right here, stripping in. Bring your line, put it right in your middle finger. Right. You got good control. Right. There's a lot of people when they're fishing, they hold the rod up like this. You're going to miss a lot of strikes because you got too much slack in your line. Yep. You drop that rod tip down. Take the tension out. Before you line, the fish hits. Before you line, lift up on the rod. You still got control of the fish. Right. Well, what about what if I want to get all the line on the reel? Easy. You got a good anchor point here. Bring it up. Put your pinky right here. Put your reel in. You can work your pinky left and right and get it back on the spool. Or you can just sit there and spin the spool, which is a uh, fast recovery. Yeah, sidearm can cut through the wind a lot easier. Plus, you can get in lower tight places. Now, there is an underhand cast. Uh -huh. You can get down low. So when you bring the rod, to the back, right here, semi-circle, and the carry line up button. Right. Of course, it works much better when you got on water because you got the best friction. How are you with the roll cast? Uh, yeah, roll cast. Can't really do well on grass. More on water because you're using the surface tension on the right. friction. Roll cast. Basically, like I said, you got a lot of line out there. You don't have a lot of room behind your cast. You bring your rod up one, two o'clock behind the ear. And you kind of, it's like a push forward, pull down with your line on your left hand, push forward, and it'll roll out. You see the tension on the grass, it'll yeah. go straight out. But if you got tension on the water, you got to drag. It's going to roll out. Now, there is another cast. Now, if you really don't oh, stand right here. now, if you really don't have any room behind, behind you to cast, uh, you have got this cast that you can go uh, in a loop. That's what you want to keep tension on the line. You bring the loop around, and you want to haul it one time. It's like this. Bring it around. 
as the sling <laughs> as the slings past the side of your head by inches. <laughs> All right, I got the hook. <laughs> <laughs> See how pretty that lay straight out? Yeah, but you're bundled up as you can. Here's the water, ain't gonna make no difference. Yeah. <coughs> bring it around. Single hole. Now, you, are you supposed to let it hit on the ground behind you? No, they don't usually happen like that, but I've got a power line behind me. I'm trying to watch my cat. Okay. Get tight in the lineup, it just stops. It's like... There's another cast that you can do to get a lot of line out, okay. get less room to like, instead of letting your fly line cast all the way out from back and then go forward, you can take that line and you're going to use the water tension as a surface tension. Uh, you're going to pull it up. Okay, left hand out, bring it back. You bring it like that, and the surface tension of the water is going to cast it out. That's a, that's a side roll cast. Out. A lot of people when they start fly casting, they do too much false casting. Back and forth. They're probably good back and forth many times before they get thrown out. And they then finally work that amount out. So how many people you say that is right there? Right where I'm standing for the end of Okay. What I'm gonna do is pull just a little bit in, like about eight foot in line. When you pick up on the rod, some people want to make it up too far. Hey, Mr. Yak Attack, why don't, why don't you get why don't you get yourself a, a beginner over there and see if he can do it? Get what? Get a beginner over there and see if you can get him to learn how to cast. <laughs> I could get a beginner. He, he's over there holding the camera. No, no, the one over there with the Penn State shirt on. Penn State shirt. Who's got that? Oh. Hey, Tim. Tim, you ever catch the fly up? No. You want to learn? I'm watching. Well, you can't learn by watching. Quit your yapping and get over here. Quit your yapping and get over here. <laughs> After a while, you, you get to judging it, and you know uh, one thing te technically will help you with casting is cast back, back. Uh, and then watch the line, go out, back and forth. Um, more or less, I don't do a lot of the overhand or the slot angle cast overhand uh, because it's more feasible for me, and you have more accuracy. You go through the wind better, plus you have a better chance of reaching to your target. I should have got a still picture of you. I should have got a still picture of you like that. Send me the video. I can pull steals out of it. All right. 
<laughs> It'll be another capture of this picture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nine weight is perfect. There was one I was casting it. Oh, you were too late. Yes, I was. I'm sure it'll happen again. It is ready. Yeah, you got it. 